Hi guys, um, I'm sorry I look like crap. Uh, and you don't mind this. I don't know what this is. Um, God, this looks so bad. Ugh. Gross. Anyway, okay, so Dom, yes, I got your message. Um, I'm going to reply to that after. I thought I would do something a little different today. Um, it's kind of like a vlog, but I guess this is more for people who have Napsters or Rodents or whatever. And I'm also going to be showing you to... There you go, John. John. Oh, God. There you go, John. The Mockingjay uh, ringtone. Just for you. Um, and I'm also going to be showing you two of my paintings that I've been working on. <coughs> I've been trying to get back into painting, so... Uh, and don't judge the first one here because it is, it is very, very. I started it when I was sober and I finished it when I was drunk, so I'm gonna redo it. But uh, I'll just show you what it's gonna look like. Alright, so here's the first one. And I don't really. I mean, there's something to like, but then if you get really close and stuff. You see how crappy of a quality it is, and you're just like, ew. So, uh, yeah, this is my first one. And I don't like how the black paint that I use is very, very shiny. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm going to be redoing this because, um, <laughs> looks very bad. Very, very bad. <laughs> but, uh, so, um, and these are inspired by Tim Gagan, I think that's how I say. Um, and he has inspired me to do... I've always loved painting trees and stuff. But, oh shit. But I guess he's just inspired me to go with it. And taught me new ways to do it. This one I am very proud of and I can't wait for this. Um, I will give you the meaning behind this after I show it to you. Um, I did mess up in the middle a little bit, but that's okay because I'm going to, like, I'm not finished this yet, so there's going to be a tree in the middle covering my mistake. But, um, God, that's lovely. Anyway, okay, so, um, yes, this one I did while I was sober, and <laughs> this one turned out a lot better. So, here it is. And, for the background, I just, I, I was supposed to do a green effect to red, orange, and then yellow. And then I just started going like this with the paint, and it turned out looking like that. So, and this is my mistake here. Um, I gotta pick that up. This is going from red to yellow to orange. Um, and, yeah, so these are the trees, and the background is kind of resembling like almost a fire to kind of end of the world kind of thing. I don't know. Something that would... Really there it is again. Um, something that would devastate this in the night. Um, and so here we go. We have the foreground. Or sorry, the background. And then the black of the foreground. And that's how you start out. So you bet you can put your shadows in. And there's going to be one big tree. And as you can tell, these are all in black. And uh, the tree in front is going to be in full color, so brown for the tree and the bark and green leaves or whatever. And it's pretty much stating that in the worst times when everything looks ugly, there's always something to look forward to. There's always something that's beautiful, no matter what. And so this is all going to be green. And with any of you that have heard what has happened to Calgary, Lately, um, this is kind of what inspired me to do this painting, you know. So, um, yeah, I'll just show it up a little closer here. So, yeah, don't mind this ugly piece in here. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I really like the quality of the trees and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, 
yeah, so I'm really excited to do this. I'm really excited to do the other one because with like, the color scheme and everything, it's just, I don't like that painting, so. But anyway, yes, um, so this is what I've been working on, so. And plus, William says that he needs more things to put up on his wall, so he's been bugging me to do more paintings, so that is where these are both going to go. Um, yes, so, uh, let's see. Okay, so on to more of the, the boat and hatchet passing. I just did, I guess this can be like a pet line haul, random video. Yeah, I don't even know. Um, sorry if you hear the buzzing in the background. Um, it's because it's very, very hot in my room, so I needed a fan uh, on. Okay, so, um, I went to Batland to get a whole bunch of stuff, um, and this is more on the food and treat kind of side, but I'm going to do kind of like a review, seeing it's how my hamsters are picky as shit. Alright, so, um, I'm going to start off with Living World. Um, Living World, uh, this is five pound bag of food. It's just got a whole bunch of seeds and different things. It says, nutritious mix of seeds, legumes, excuse me if that's wrong, uh, fruit and vegetables to help keep hamsters healthy. Um, this is a very, very, very good brand. Uh, it comes in smaller bags, of course. Um, it's got all the, like, the feeding bags, the ingredients, everything on the back. Um, five pound bag. Oh my god, it's so heavy to hold. Um, uh, this is just a classic. I don't know if there's a different kind, but, um, I, they like this. They, they like like the sunflower seeds and the corn and all the bigger pieces, but if you look here, a whole bunch of those little seeds, and they don't like that, so I'm always taking that out of the dish and trying to do so. And um, so um, other than that, I, I mean, again, I told you I have very picky hamsters. Um, you know, <laughs> this is my food. I just eat it all. You know. Um, but no, they're very picky. But this is a very good buy. Uh, I think it's only like 12 bucks or something. 12 or 14 bucks. So, um, this is very good. Um, I've been using this for all my hamsters, so. Um, yeah, I'd say it's a good buy. <laughs> um, next for Living World, I have the little yogurt drops. This one is very flavored, uh, and they are actually just little yogurt drops. You can eat them yourself. Um, <laughs> they're not gonna hurt you. Um, this is honey flavored. I also have regular. Ooh, regular is almost gone. Um, regular, just with vitamin C drops. Um, I used to get the orange flavored ones, and they have a whole bunch. They have carrot and dandelion, actually. They have strawberry and a whole bunch of different kinds. Are you going after supper? Yes. Then you better go down to the thing you mess up. And the end of your bed. I had this all cleaned out so we could walk in there. Hey, Gare. Come here. Or look at Frodo. No, they're both sleeping in the cheese. Hey, Gare. 
like he hasn't grabbed as well yeah. as Wilbur does. He can't climb up him. I'm sorry for that. Uh, the, let's, those are my grandparents. Uh, they like to check on my house like every so often. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, Living World drop um, very good vibes. Both of them like them. Um, Wilbur's not too keen on the dairy ones, but uh, he likes all the other flavors. Uh, you know, uh, I don't really know because, I mean, I try to give him one and he doesn't take it. And then, you know, two hours later, my grandma goes and gives him the same one and he eats it. So, I don't know if it's just the person that he doesn't want to take it from or what. So, but, yeah, goodbye, goodbye. Um, next, we'll go over Fiesta because it's the only thing I have. Um, Fiesta is very, very very good vibes. Um, they like to do a lot of fruit with yogurt and stuff, and that's what they like, both of them really like it. Um, the only thing is, is, like, they're such small bags, but, you know, there's like a mixture of everything in here, and um, they last quite a bit, quite a while, too. Um, so yeah, no, these are very, very good. They are very good quality, actually, with their um, things. I used to buy Wilbur the papaya covered in banana yogurt, and they don't have those anymore, so I'm kind of mad, um, but they both seem to like this, so we'll try this out. Um, next is a whole new thing that I have been trying a lot of lately. And they're the crispy snacks. Um, we've been buying these for them. Um, this one is nuts. Uh, and it's a very skinny box. Usually they're very fat boxes. Um, but uh, there's cheese, vegetables, and then the nut one. And um, they like these a lot. Uh, they're kind of just like cookies. But they like these a lot. Um, I recommend that you buy these. And they're not that expensive either, actually. And um, they're always fresh. Uh, but yeah, no, they're always fresh. Um, like, this bag I can't even get into, so. But, um, this is Crispy Snack Popcorn. And my hamsters love popcorn. I do not know why, but they like popcorn. And if you can tell, there's just like a whole bunch of random things. So, um, again with the food, for those little seeds, I'm going to try and mix this in and see if they'll like that better. Um, but yeah, no, I really enjoy these. Um, again, great quality in their product. So. Um, and the last thing, quickly, is just chicory. And these are, I don't know the brand of this because I ripped it off. But these little chew toys are actually very good for them too. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I gotta cut this video short because I have 10 seconds before I probably won't post it. But, uh, yeah, so, bye guys.